Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Long time no vlog. I have not been vlogging at all the past several weeks and I'll explain more later in the video, but it has been, I mean, honestly, probably some of the worst couple weeks of our lives, not of our lives, but it's been really, really hard couple weeks here. And so, you know, I haven't vlogged since my birthday vlog and we've just had a lot going on. We've had kids visiting us, which I'll get into and meet my little friend here. Yeah, this crutch. So I'm also on crutches right now. I should say crutch because I don't think I need two anymore, but I sprained my ankle pretty badly on a trampoline. And so I am just not doing great right now. Uh, but today is Father's Day. It's Sunday, June 21st, I believe. We are gonna go out and we are going to go to this little, it's called Vintage Market Days. And it feels weird to me that they're having it because of coronavirus stuff, but, but we thought it'd be a fun Father's Day thing. They said fathers get in free. And I, Nick and I went last summer and then I went with my friend Sarah in the winter for the winter one. And it's just really cool thing. There's all these booths that they have set up and different like craft people come around and share all that stuff. And like you can buy stuff. I don't know if we'll buy anything, but it is really fun to look. So I'm gonna be hobbling around on my little crutch. So we're on our way to Vintage market days. So first stop is for your Father's Day meal and we are having Acapulco Mexican food. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's always a good day for Mexican food. It's never really a bad time. No, I agree. This is why we're married. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> the best part about quarantine eating out is that nobody's here. It's very private. <laughs> our meal was delicious. It was really good. If you watch my other vlogs, that's where we typically order our Mexican food from because we have ordered it quite a bit during quarantine because we know they've kind of struggled during that time and you know it's our civic duty to order Mexican food so I'm cool with that. Yeah. We feel like that's part of our responsibility so basically kept them in business with all of our orders. <laughs> Just kidding but it, it is really good. So that was fun. Happy it Father's was. Day. Thank you. <laughs> it's delicious. This is one of our favorite shops. We bought a sign here last year, but they have like wood on top of the signs. It's really cool. It's really pretty. Here's Nick's sign. <laughs> these are really cute. I have made these before and these are very well done because they're hard to make. Yeah. Well, we just got done at Vintage Market Days a little bit ago and we stopped and bought some bottled water because it's really hot and we only walked out with two things and they were both candles. Here, I'll show you. We got these, they're called American Homestead Morning Brew. Yeah, it was a fun little outing. I, I enjoyed it, even though I'm really hot and sweaty now. Yeah, it was really fun. And now we're gonna go to our favorite milkshake place. Uh, this was not on the agenda, but somehow it's um, worked its way into it's the agenda. It's always unconsciously on the agenda. Exactly, so we're gonna go um, enjoy some milkshakes and then go back home, so. Excited for those milkshakes. <laughs> Is it everything you dreamed? <laughs> okay, what'd you just get? I got this hand thrown coffee mug, which is pretty cool from our favorite coffee shop. So it's where we get the milkshakes. We do get the it's milkshakes. Where we just, burn. just put the milkshakes in here, right? Do I get a discount? 
Uh, that would be yeah, nice. That would be nice. I have wanted one of those for a long time. Yeah, I've been eyeing this for a while. But I couldn't justify it, so I just, I told Nick, I told Nick today that he could get it as Father's Day present, so. Pretty good Father's Day. And then I get to benefit from its beauty being in my home. So. You're just gonna take pictures with it, that's what you want. Yeah, to probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, it's now Monday, June 22nd. I kind of dropped off filming yesterday. Um, I walked around way too much yesterday on my ankle and it was super swollen and I was very uncomfortable. So I just kind of took it easy. My friend Sarah was here, we had dinner um, and just hung out for a little bit. But yeah, it was a little bit rough. I definitely, definitely pushed it a little too far, but it was a really fun day. I think it, I think it was worth it. Probably, probably not good for my health, but still worth it. Just blew out this candle because I think I need to trim the wick because it was kind of smoky, but it smells so amazing. I'm so happy we bought this yesterday. Um, I just love like coffee smells. I do not like drinking coffee, but I love coffee smells. So <laughs> this candle's perfect. Briefly mentioned this yesterday, but um, we've had a lot of really hard stuff going on in our family lately and um, like, a friend that I had from high school passed away recently, like very suddenly, and it wasn't someone I was crazy close with. I haven't seen him in a long time, but that was hard. And then um, my parents' dog passed away, and it was a dog that we'd had since I was in ninth grade, and that was really hard. And at the same time, um, my father-in-law, so Nick's dad, was um, diagnosed with cancer. And so all of that stuff happened in one week, and it was also the week that we had our kids here. So I don't think I've really gone into this on here, I cannot remember, but we are in the process of adopting again, and we are adopting two kids from foster care. Um, for those of you who don't know, our daughter is adopted from foster care, and she is about two and a half. And now we, we started the process again, I think it was like mid to late January, we said, hey, we're kind of interested in adopting again, and I mean, we were matched so quickly, it was insane. Now, to be fair, our parameters are pretty wide. If you're looking to adopt like a little kid, it's gonna take a lot longer, but we are actually adopting two kids, a brother and a sister, and they are nine and six. And actually the nine-year-old will be 10 next week. So um, we did go a little bit higher in the age range, and these kids are super sweet. Um, I think that we've already had a lot of visits with them. Um, we met them in person before coronavirus and then we've talked on the phone ever since. So like mid-March until last month maybe, or like early June, yeah, beginning of this month, we talked on the phone and then we have now had them over to our house for two visits where they were here for about a week, like five days at a time. And then they're coming back next week for what we think will be the final visit before they actually move in. And it's gone really well. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail just to protect like their privacy, but we're really excited to have them in our family. And um, I mean, really the visits have gone super well, just like typical kid, kid redirection stuff is all we've had to deal with so far. Um, I know that there are probably some tough days ahead with transitions and everything because it's a big transition for them to make and it's a big one for us to make too going from a family of three to a family of five so we're all kind of in it together but i did want to tell you guys that if you follow me on instagram i always link my instagram handle below you can see like more updates on our situation there but yeah basically we got all that news while our kids were visiting us and that made it extra hard because my husband got the news i mean the kids had only been here probably less than two hours when we heard about nick's dad and that was really hard for him to process through so what was a huge blessing is my mom was here she had been here to watch um our daughter while we drove to get the kids because they're about three hours or so away and it's just a long car ride for her in one day and so it was a huge blessing she stayed and she stayed a few extra days and that helped us so much just to have a little bit of space to process because we could like kind of know that she was supervising them and then we could kind of like take a little space if we needed to so that was really good but all that to say it's been kind of an intense crazy time and i know it's been a crazy time there's so much going on in the world there's you know protests and black lives matter movement and then there's like you know coronavirus still going on and it's just a hard time so all of this on top of that was extra stressful and then i also hurt my ankle which seems to be like to me is like the least of everything going on but it's still very annoying because i cannot do very much like even standing here 
I feel like my ankle's getting swollen. I need to go lay down. You know, I mentioned our lives have been kind of hard. Yeah. Um, our house is an absolute mess. And I cannot stand for very long to do things. So I feel really bad. Nick has had to do a lot. But I am going to try later. Once I ice my foot, I've got my ice pack here. <laughs> I'm going to try to ice my foot for a while. And then maybe I'll feel okay to stand here for a little bit and clean. Because, ooh, that's bad. All right, we just had lunch a little bit ago, and now before Brielle's nap, we're gonna go drop off a bunch of stuff at Goodwill, because um, I got rid of a bunch of clothes recently, actually made a video about it, so we were putting that on the <coughs> and going. Sorry for my dog. Here's all our stuff. We've got big boxes of books, because my mom got a bunch of free books from school, so we took out the ones we really liked, and there were a ton of doubles. So we're taking those, we've got some baby toys, and then back here's a big bag of my clothes. We're at the new Aldi. They rebuilt it. It's really exciting. All right, I am now chopping up some broccoli. We're gonna roast it. So I've got some chopped up, but I have a bunch more in here. I don't know, I might just cook all of it because we've had it for a little while. But the plan for tonight was to make fried chicken, homemade fried chicken and broccoli, but I just took a very long nap. <laughs> like as in, I woke up from my nap at almost six. Brielle and Nick are downstairs. They're gonna watch a movie and then I'm gonna cook some food. We did give Brielle dinner now because she can't wait this long, but we really wanna cook this. So we'll probably give her a taste of it before she goes to bed. And yeah, that will be that. So here's the broccoli all ready to go in and it's looking pretty good. It's a little crowded on this pan probably, but I'm gonna give it a go. I just don't wanna have to get two pans dirty. <laughs> also, I'm watching Blair Lamb vlog and I she's my favorite YouTuber by far. I'll link her channel below if you're interested because if you like my stuff, you'll probably also like hers. She definitely inspires a lot of what I do on YouTube, um, but I'm watching her Disney Cruise vlog and I watched her first one just last week, even though it was from like 2018. I'd never watched them because I was like, eh, I'm not really interested in going on a Disney cruise. Let me tell you, after watching that, now I'm interested in going on a Disney cruise. It looks very relaxing. I just never, I, my husband and I, neither of us are really like beach people. Um, we both prefer mountains. We prefer like, like my dream trip is like exploring Europe somewhere. Um, I love going to like old cities with a lot of history and like architecture and things like that. But this real this vacation just looks so relaxing that I can totally understand why people go on it. And it's like you get some of like the Disney feel without being at Disney World and being like stressed all the time because you're going here, here, and here, and here. You know, you can kind of like take it easy. So. I don't know. I'll link these vlogs below because they're really relaxing to me. <laughs> and even though, you know, the world's weird now, hashtag coronavirus, um, it is kind of fun to watch just people going on vacations as if things were normal because this is like from a year ago. <laughs> so I'm currently in her 2019 ones and it's just relaxing to watch. So if you're looking for a little escape, those would be good to check out. So as you can see, I'm getting things ready here. Um, this is my, th I put out three plates here. So on this one, I'll put flour and I'll add in some salt. And I like to just add in a little garlic salt and oops, and onion powder as well. And then this one, I crack, an, I crack two eggs and I just mix it up until it's really good. I'll finish that in a second. And then in this one, this time we got the, I think they're called panko breadcrumbs. I've never use this kind before I don't think we usually use Italian one but we thought we'd try this and I just like to mix in a little bit of crushed red pepper a little bit of black pepper in here just to give it a little bit of a kick so we will see how this goes I just tasted the first one done and it is delicious so 
my random recipe mixing around worked out well. Brielle's finishing Toy Story. Here's our broccoli. Here's our broccoli. And here's our delicious chicken. Mm. Excited about this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to cover up. I'm gonna try to cover up the name and stuff here because privacy. But my friend Kristen sent us their little birth announcement for their little boy. And he well, I shouldn't say little boy because he's a big boy. He was over eleven pounds. Kristen, I know you're a subscriber, so you're a hero. I just want you to know. But man, he is cute. Look at all of his hair. He's so cute. So Kristen, you're the real hero. That is insane. I'm really curious to hear your childbirth story sometime because, wow. Just made some frozen hot chocolate as a Nick made it. And this, to me, this tastes a lot like the, what is it called? Like chocolatey chip frappe from Starbucks? Yeah, like, yeah. Chocolatey chip frappe, is that what it is? Yeah, something like it's that. It's for the non-coffee drinkers. Chocolatey chocolatey chip or something. It's really good. Yeah. But this reminds me of it a lot and it's way cheaper. You can make it at home. Hey there, happy Tuesday. Um, it is currently noon, and yes, I'm still wearing my pajama shirt that I had on last night because it has been a very, very slow start to the morning. Um, I woke up pretty late, and now I'm making some tacos, so I'll show you what I'm doing. A lot of times I do my own, like, taco seasoning mix, but today I just used a prepackaged one. I'm just, I want something quick and easy. Later, I get to go out for coffee, which to me means, like, hot chocolate. Um, with my friend Sarah. So my best friend Sarah, um, her birthday is coming up, but she's going to be out of town. Um, and actually, she doesn't know this, but I'm trying to plan a surprise party for her. But to throw her off the trail, I'm going to give her a present today and take her out for coffee. So that will be fun. Okay. Say Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to go out for a little coffee date with my friend Sarah and I wanted to show you the birthday presents that I picked out for her because I just think they're so cute and if you have a friend who's a book nerd or if you're a book nerd these are really great ideas in my personal humble opinion. Okay the first thing I got is this adorable Anne of Green Gables shirt and it's like a dolman cut shirt and it's super soft and it's from the shop called Out of Print and you can see their cute little like label here. Um, it's just this whole bookstore and they do different like book covers, but they turn them into shirts and I just thought this was super cute Honestly, I wish I had gotten myself one because <laughs> it's so cute, but my friend Sarah and I actually match Accidentally all the time. So, you know, it might not be the worst thing if I ended up getting one as well If you have a friend who loves books, seriously, I will link this specific shirt down below, but you can find their shop through it Definitely check it out. And the second thing I got is this top 100 books poster and I'm not going to pull this out because I want to keep it packaged but basically on the poster it has all these little squares of the top 100 books like when they surveyed people and you have to like scratch it off with a coin once you've read that book and it reveals like these little covers and they're so cute so I think she'll love this she's a big reader she reads more than any person I know and this is like the perfect little book nerd gift, so. And she got me a really cute present this year. This whole like Harry Potter box. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys after I go out with her and then tonight should just be a pretty chill evening at home. And I have a lot of little tasks I need to finish tonight, so fun. Okay, just got done wrapping her presents and Brielle helped me. Did you help me? Yeah! Yeah, you helped push your finger here so we could put the tape on. I found this cute wrapping paper at Dollar Tree, my favorite store ever. And Sarah should be here soon, so I gotta fill out her little card. Okay, I just got back from my little coffee date with my friend Sarah, and it was really fun. She actually audibly gasped with delight when she saw her presence, so I feel like I kind of knocked out of the park there. Although, I will say, she really is the easiest person for me to buy gifts for. I was talking to my mom about it the other day, and she's like, yeah, of course she is, because everything that you want, you could just get her, and she would want it too, which is very accurate. Um, and actually, she told me that she had almost bought that shirt that I bought her. She'd almost bought that for herself like a ton of different times and then ended up not getting it. And so she was really excited and she also loved the book poster. So I'm sure she's gonna be like reading nonstop to try to scratch them all off. But that was really fun. I'm glad I got to see her before she leaves town for a few days and it was just really nice to catch up. So now I'm gonna go 
relieve Nick because he's been with Brielle since she woke up from her nap a little early. So I'm gonna go hang out with her and I'll hopefully check back in later. Good morning. It is now Wednesday and I cannot believe how the week is getting away from me. I totally dropped off on the vlog last night. I was feeling honestly really stressed. Um, this week we're trying to get everything ready because our kids are visiting next week and they brought a ton of their stuff last time and their rooms are messy and like we need to figure out an organizational system. So that's something that's on my mind. And in addition to that, our foster care and adoptive license is expiring at the end of August, I believe. And so there's all this paperwork and classes that we have to get done. So I'm trying to have this big to-do list of things that I can finish, but it is definitely stressful. We, I think, I still have about 17 hours of classes I need to do. And I know, like, I've had time, but the problem is, is the classes that we had heard about before, you actually have to be, like, live there, and you have to be, like, participating. They're, like, an online thing. Um, and with a two-year-old, um, I'm just going to say, as needy as ours, it's very, very much almost impossible to do that. Uh, we found a new website. It's called, like, fosterparentcollege.com. And right now, because of coronavirus stuff, you can do as many online things as you want. So... That's my plan is I made an account on there and I need to go try some of those classes. Once I try one, I'll let you guys know what it's like because I just need one where I could pause it if I need to and like walk away and that's what you can do with this one. Anyway, enough complaining. Let's jump into Wednesday, trying to get stuff done. We're on our way to the store. Here's Brielle. We're on our way to the store. <laughs> you saying hi? Hey. Your hair looks pretty. We're gonna go to Dollar Tree and we're gonna go to Walmart. Um, I wanna get some sticker incentive charts at Dollar Tree if I can find them. And then we also need to pick up some ink for our printer because I'm gonna be printing off like a big um, daily schedule for our kids. And I bought like a pocket chart, so I'll try to show that later this week once I print. I don't know if I'll print it today. But we're trying to get some stuff checked off our list and then, yeah, see where the week takes us. All right, hey there, we just um, wrapped up dinner. We had some pretty fancy grilled cheese. Um, when I say just wrapped up dinner, it's 8.30, so that was actually a while ago. Um, Brielle's already in bed. We watched a little bit of Princess and the Frog and she was obsessed with it. She really loved that song almost there. She kept singing it over and over again, so I played it a couple times once we got ready for bed. Okay, so this is what I've been working on for the past like hour or so. So these are the little, um, cards that they have you can see that we've got like computer time brush your teeth they have this little thing we'll probably use sometime where like rotation and different kids do different things read aloud there's stuff like going to the library doing crafts so here's kind of the basic daily schedule i did and i'll go ahead and i will link these were free these little cutout things i got and actually they, they came with a normal clock as well but I just cut this out because I didn't have room because my pocket chart is a little bit narrower. But actually it looks pretty good like this. And so yeah, I'll link these little cards. And I will also link, I got this pocket chart on Amazon. It actually works really well. I could see myself getting a second one if I wanted to be like super extra. But I really don't think I'll need that. Because eventually they'll kind of get the daily schedule down and it'll be fine. Hey there, it is currently super late. I am uploading a YouTube video and watching a Brogan Tate vlog. So I'm actually uploading our relationship story. So by the time you see this, it should be up. I hope so. I only have 10 minutes left, but it is after midnight. We just had a fun little time watching the Imagineering story on Disney+. Plus. If you don't have Disney+, Plus, you are missing out. I was really negative about it at first, I'm going to be honest, because I was like, oh great, another streaming service. I was like, another thing we're going to have to pay for, they're going to take all the Disney movies off Netflix that are there, and all this stuff. But then my parents actually got like a free year of it, and so right now you can like share your account with people, there's not a limit. So they are letting us use it. And I'm going to tell you that once they're for years done, we're going to buy it because it is, it is amazing. It has every Disney movie you could ever want to watch. It has like, you know, all the classics, but then also these like throwback early 2000s, like Disney Channel movies. If you're a millennial like me and you remember some of those movies like Smart House, has anyone else seen Smart House? 
I made Nick watch half of it with me recently on Disney Plus. They have Lizzie McGuire on there, the show. They have all these like really nostalgic things and it's so fun to just like search through. But we've been watching the Imagineering story, which is the whole story behind like Disney World and how they built everything and they talk about like Disneyland Paris and like in Tokyo and, and it is really cool. It's actually like, really inspiring at times so I mean some people might say it's like Disney propaganda but I really like it so I'm enjoying it um, definitely recommend if you're a Disney fan also if you're a Disney fan I have Disney vlogs I will link above we went in February before all this stuff shut down and I am so happy so thankful now that we got to go I mean I was thankful then but I'm extra thankful now because I don't think we would have been able to go. We would have been matched with these kids. We wouldn't have been able to go. So I'm really thankful that we got to do that trip. And oh, it was such a fun trip. So definitely check out those videos. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, it is now Thursday morning and Nick just left a little bit ago for his eye appointment. So I'm gonna wake up Brielle and get the day started. Good morning. Yeah, Evie and Jackson are coming today. Yeah, we're going to see them. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah, good. Good job. They're going to come. Brielle's friends are coming over today, and she wants them to be here right now, but they're not coming until 1230. Today we're wearing a Harry Potter shirt. Because who likes Harry Potter? Gotcha. Yeah, so we got our little Gryffindor shirt. It's so cute. Let me see. Let me see. We're watching Princess and the Frog, eating some breakfast, and I'm gonna do Brielle's hair. Here. All right, I just finished Brielle's hair, and I think I parted it a little too far to this side because this one's really big and this one's a little small, but it looks pretty cute. Um, we had a, almost some tears on both ends, didn't we? Because we're having a hard time sitting still when there's really exciting Princess and the Frog music going on. But I think it turned out pretty cute. I am so not like a hair person, but I realized that with adopting biracial kids, I need to become one. So I've been trying to practice a little bit on Brielle. So this is what I've been working on. Um, we just were babysitting some friends' kids. Those were Brielle's friends that were over, so I didn't record them, obviously, because <laughs> they're not my kids. Um, but yeah, they played outside, they played in the pool, and now I've been wrapping presents, and I'm doing a foster care training. It looks like I'm playing like online poker, but this is a review portion. Um, and I'm just finishing up wrapping some presents. I've got some in this bag here I need to kind of organize. And yeah, that's what I've been working on. I finished wrapping all of her presents. All the ones that we have now at least because family is going to be sending us more. Just got a bunch of little craft stuff, but I feel like it's more exciting when they're all wrapped individually. Okay, and excuse my rough appearance. This was a no makeup day, but I wanted to come on here and say that I just did my first class on that foster parent college website and so far highly recommend. Now, the people who give the course are very robotic, like they're social workers and stuff, but you can tell that it was scripted and that they're reading off of a script, like it just sounds like it. And so it is a little bit dry at times, but the content was really good. It was really succinct. And I think that it only took me, I would say that if I sat down and just did the whole class all in a row, it would have only taken me maybe 45 minutes and I got four credit hours for that. Whereas like, meanwhile, if I were doing it through our agency's classes, it would have to be a live thing. So I'd have to be like on Zoom or on, you know, Google or whatever. And I would have to be like participating, answering questions, talking, they'd have to see me. It would ha and I would have to do it at the times that they were available. I couldn't just do it whenever, obviously. So this was way better than that, way better. So I highly recommend if you are in the same situation as us, and you're renewing or you're getting your license for the first time, Foster Parent College, if you're allowed to use it, is awesome. So much better than doing like a live call. Nick, do you wanna tell them what you just brought me? <laughs> just brought Katie paper towels because I know that she is in constant need of napkins, things to wipe her fingers on. <laughs> I, whenever I eat, I like, I don't know, I can't just 
eat and have stuff on my fingers and then wait until the end and wipe it off. Like I have to constantly wipe it off. So I'm always, and Nick sits by the napkin holder. And so at dinner I'm always like, can you hand me a napkin? And he's always kind of like, again? <laughs> you know. So he brought me, he actually, at first I thought you were being really dramatic and bringing down like four paper towels, but two were for him. Cause you're eating, he's eating pizza. I'm eating pizza. Homemade pizza. I already had soup earlier, so I was gonna make popcorn. I literally just made the world's smallest batch of homemade <laughs> popcorn because I like to make it on the stove. Does anyone else think it's so much better on the stove? Like the microwave stuff just doesn't compare. And I only have like a tiny bit. So this is my little popcorn. And we both have some very cold Pepsis. We do. So we're excited about that. It's been a rough week. And sometimes, you know, you just got to treat yourself. If you're us, you have to just continually treat yourself all week because... It's been a little rough, so. Gotta power through. Yeah, but we're gonna watch the Imagineering story on Disney Plus, so we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Hey there, it is now Friday. I actually just took my dress for my brother's wedding. My brother's getting married August 1st, and I'm a bridesmaid, and so I bought a dress, and I almost bought it like two sizes bigger than I even bought it, and I'm so glad I didn't because the measurements online were crazy. Anyway, I had to get it altered because it was a little too big in some spots and it was way too long. So I took it to um, a friend from church. Her mom actually does stuff. And I just like, I don't know about you, but I so prefer to pay like an actual person rather than just like a big company like David's Bridal or something to alter things for me. So got the dress done. It was totally great. And I'm excited to see how it fits afterwards. But yeah, the dress is cute. I'll have to show you guys sometime. I'll probably, I'm sure I'll post on Instagram when we go to the wedding, but that will be fun. But I'm really glad I got that checked off my to-do list. And actually, I didn't check in last night, but we did get a lot of stuff done last night. We, I took a class, I think I might have mentioned that. And then we also like updated our whole budget. We were super behind on updating it. We use the Good Budget app. If you haven't heard of it, I'll link it below. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, we did all that. So time to see what the rest of the day holds. Hopefully more productivity and some rest because I am exhausted and honestly feeling very stressed. So I'm going to try to go relax for a little bit. <sighs> hey there. So it is now about 6 PM and we're going to go, we're going to make some dinner here. Um, but I have not gotten like anything done. It's really unfortunate. But it's just been a rough day. I've been having just a really rough time. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of a lot of things that have happened just emotionally that have been really hard. And then at the same time, I have this huge to-do list. Like it feels like everything I need to get done is all piling up right now. And it is a little stressful. And a lot of that stuff is like hard because of COVID stuff and like getting documents and going to the doctor and all those things that we need to get done are extra hard which I'm sure if you're going through like an adoption journey, you can relate to that. I'm just gonna be honest, it's not all sunshine and roses over here right now. It's very frustrating and I've just had a really hard day. So I'm probably not gonna vlog much more tonight, but if I do, I'll pop back on, but I just think I need a little bit of a break. Good morning. Brielle is watching videos. She's watching funny animal videos. Um, I'm getting ready. I have an eye doctor appointment in like a half hour or less. And then um, Nick is picking up our grocery order. So, yep, it's Saturday. I hope that today is gonna be a better day than yesterday. I think it will. Last night ended up being good. So, in a better mood, feeling more calm, just really tired because I just have not been sleeping well. So, trying to get that back on track. Happy Saturday. Okay, something I wanna show you guys I've been using lately on my face. <sighs> is this um, face sunscreen. And I actually have just been using it kind of like a primer. It's SPF 30 and I just put it on every day before I put my makeup on. I got it on Amazon, I'll link it below. The way it goes on at first, it feels like when you first put it on, it almost has this kind of feel that you're like, oh, it's gonna be greasy. But then it dries almost like I don't know how to describe it, like powdery feeling, like it doesn't, you can't feel it really once it's once it's dried in, it doesn't feel greasy at all. It's just like the first minute you put it on, it just feels a little bit different. I've just added this into my skincare routine recently because I'm 29 now and I feel like I have very fair skin, I should probably be putting more SPF on and the foundation I use doesn't usually have that included in it, so this is my new item. All right, I got my makeup all done, I'm just gonna kind of brush my hair out a little bit 
I'm gonna get ready to go to my eye doctor appointment. Brielle is still enjoying her little animal videos. <laughs> oh, well, it is now Saturday around 6.40 and we're just getting ready to eat and I obviously have not vlogged anything today. Also, I didn't do a lot. My foot is hurting, it's swollen. I've been trying to rest, I took a nap. Did get a couple little things done here and there, but I have a lot of cleaning to do, you can see, so maybe I'll record some of that later. But I wanted to show what we're having for dinner. I've shown these before in a vlog, but these are little ham and cheese sliders. They're so easy to make. I will try to include the recipe below because this is like a go-to in our household, especially on like a night when you don't want to have to spend a lot of time preparing it. It's really good. And then we also have some green beans, so time to eat. So we are shamelessly making frozen hot chocolate again because it's so good. Here's Nick and his scientific process. <laughs> Gotta get it just right. <laughs> this has definitely become an addiction for us, but we justify it by telling ourselves that we spend less money at coffee shops and that we get less ice cream, but in reality, we're still getting quite a bit of ice cream, so. But you know, still cheaper than a coffee shop, so. Hey there, guys. I realized I never wrapped up this vlog yesterday because it is now Sunday. Last night was nice. Just had a nice relaxing night. Watch Imagineering Story like we've been doing. We actually finished it, so now I don't know what we're gonna watch, but it was a good night. We could have gone to church today, actually, because our church has split up into two different services, and we set the alarm saying, let's set the alarm and see kind of how we feel, but we both felt like we just needed a day to rest. So that's what we're doing today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for following along with my vlog this week. I know it wasn't probably the most exciting vlog ever, but if you've made it to this point, thank you very much for your support. Um, and you can go ahead, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to click the like button. And also, if you are not subscribed, and actually I feel like a lot of people who watch my videos, they watch them, but they're not subscribed. So don't forget to subscribe because I am still making videos. I actually have a lot of videos I've already filmed that I will be posting and so even when our lives are a little crazy with two new kids here I'll still have videos going up so I will still be posting content about adoption stuff about travel we actually have a trip we're kind of planning right now low-key for the future because I know it's still coronavirus um, but yeah a lot of fun stuff coming up in the next few months and obviously I'll have a lot of adoption content because we're adopting two more kids and still kind of navigating how I'm going to talk about that on this channel because of privacy and all of that. So thanks so much for your support. Hope you're having an awesome week. See ya.